It better not stick me, lad. I'm fetching my father up if he does. What's that bringing my father down? He don't know when the cookie comes. That's the man. Last time he came, he got sticky nose. Oh, yeah, that will. I'm sick of hearing thee. When he came down, they all laughing at him. They all Yeah, they might be. Don't say not about my father. They're right. He's not going to stick me anyhow. Yeah. The flower. Yeah. Well, Mr. Yeah, from Mrs. Spooner. Better way to kill them, isn't it? Yeah. It's his favourite trick likes to keep you waiting. Thinks it makes it worse. Yeah. Keep me till four o'clock, I'm not bothered. As long as I'd rather have to stick and do lessons. Who is he? Save us these, we'll have to, after we come out of rices. I can't think I'm a smoker as well. I'm not sure it's there, but I'll say it to and if he finds him on him, we'll get two extra. I don't want him. There's also a fist instead. Are they going to take him? The better, lad. I'll say any prayers. OK, but if I get keen, you give me some, eh? Huh. Some fist if I don't. Where's your pocket? Help his ear, rice pudding. Single file. Right. You lost, lad. On your way, palm room. You locked. Inside. <laughs> Same old faces. Same old faces. Ten years this school's been opened, and ten years have we seen after every assembly a line of boys here, and the same old faces. Shut up, man. Don't interrupt. I close the door. I've taught in this city for over 30 years. I taught some of your parents. Your father, McDowell. In the old slum schools in the city, before they built this fine estate and this wonderful school. Things are no better now than they were then. I just can't understand this generation. I thought I knew something about young people. I should be able to, you know, with my experience. But with you, no. It just seems a complete waste of money and a waste of time. Like it's a waste of time talking to you now. Why well, you not even listening, are you, McDowell? Yes, sir. No, you're not. Cross them. you're not listening, are you? No, sir. No, you're not. None of you are listening. Look at that glazed expression on your faces. You never listen. Yours is the generation that never listens. Because we can never tell you anything. You're the sophisticated ones. With all your music and your gear. But you know, it's superficial. It's a sheen. And there's nothing solid or worthwhile underneath. Why do I know this? Why do I know there's been no advance in discipline or decency or morals or manners? Why do I know it? Because I still have to use this to you boys every day. Why? In the 20s and 30s, I could understand it. They were hard times, but they produced qualities in people that you lot will never have. I can be stopped in the street by someone I taught then. And we'll talk about the old days, and we'll laugh about the thrashings that I gave him. But what do I get from you lot? A honk from a greasy, pimply-faced youth sitting at the wheel of a big second-hand car. I don't know. I just don't know. No guts. No backbone. Nothing to commend you whatsoever. Mere fodder for the mass media. And so, until someone produces a better solution, I'll continue to use this cane. Knowing fully well that he'll be back for it. Time and time and time again. You smokers will go out of here with your hands ringing. But will it stop you smoking? You're already looking forward to smoking a break. You lad, what are you grinning about? I'm grinning, sir. You are? I bet you're already thinking about smoking a break. Empty your pockets. They're loaded with cigarettes. Come on, all of you, empty your pockets. Listen, Quiet, lad, empty your pockets. So you don't understand. Empty your pockets, lad. Disgusting. Please You again? You again? Sir. Empty your pockets. But, sir, I've brought a message for Empty you. Empty your pockets. 
I don't believe it. I don't believe this. Empty your pockets, lad. Empty your pockets and you're told. Come on, lad. Ah. A regular little cigarette factory, aren't you? Pull that rubbish away. Now, I hope it's going to be a lesson to you. I don't suppose for one minute it will be. I don't doubt before the end of the week you'll be back in here again for exactly the same crime, smoking. Perhaps once in a while it might sink in. Sir. That you're wasting your money. That it's your money that you're burning. And it's your hands that get caned when you come in here. <laughs> 